Hello and welcome to episode 154 of my Elden Ring playthrough. We can see the lost city from here. Well, kind of. We can see the bridge that goes, or the aqueduct that goes to the lost city, and then we can see the, um, uh, oh, what was it called? The Thingy River. Underneath it from here. Anyway, we are at the foot of the, um, this palace thingy, whose name I forget. Lord of Blood's place. We're at the Lord of Blood's place. We'll go with that. Um, we want another sight of grace so we can spend our runes, but we have a distinct suspicion we're going to get attacked by nasty things here. So we should be prepared. And by nasty things, I mean invaders. This very much seems like an invader area. Oh, look. If we had just taken a few steps forward, <laughs> we would have found our Sight of Grace. Rest. Um, okay, let's level up once and then we'll figure out... ...how many runes we need to spend to level up a second time. Okay, we've got these to this. I do kind of want to give us more vigor and mind and endurance. Well, bigger in mind specifically, I mean, I'm not so worried about endurance at the minute. But maybe it'll be 15 levels to level all of these up. Let's at the very least get bigger to 30, uh, 40. To give us more of a chance to survive against, um, Melena. And we need another 10,000 ish? Not 10,000, 100,000 ish. Another 100,000 ish. How close to 100,000 can we get? Fifty thousand. Oh, we can fairly easily get to 100,000. Um, it's 35. It's 55. Eighty, ninety, that's going to be very close. That might not quite be enough, but it'll be very close. There we go. Yeah, let's just bring this straight up to 40 first, and then we'll worry about... I would like to level up mine a little bit more, because I think we're still um, over-capping our flask every time we drink. Or we're not fully recovering as much as our flask is capable of fully recovering every time we drink. And I'd like that to be kind of the point where my mana is at. Okay. We're looking at these guys, are we? More of these. Slightly different variant of these, but more of these nonetheless. Oh, nice, they explode. They explode and give us blood loss. Fortunately, that blood loss actually really wasn't much. I wonder how bad an idea this is. Did I put the right one on? Yeah. Disregard the pointy hat.
they gave me most of my mana back, or most of my health back. Okay, I only double tapped that. I don't think I'm hidden here. I don't know why I'm fine this the, this way. This is being overly cautious. Okay, they are basically, um, or when you hit them. Oh, they appear to just not care. Nope, they do care. Some of them care. <laughs> immune to their own blood loss. Damn it. That's fine. We can actually recover fairly easy from these guys. They don't... They appear to be even slower and less caring than the regular varieties. I imagine if they manage to get a hold of me, it's still going to hurt like hell. Sturdy, I'll give them that though. There we go. Didn't have to use a single resource and I still have everything. Good, that seven allows me to get my last weapon up to only needing eight, doesn't it? Good to know which ones are going to run at me. Full health. These don't, so these ones will just explode on death. So hop, hop. I wonder how long this mist is dangerous for.
Yeah, most of these guys just really do not care about us. I didn't kill him. That killed them. That is a um large pussy blob of bloody meat. Damn it. Wasn't the goal. Ooh. Almost again. Fortunately, blood loss appears to drain a lot quicker than um, things like poisons do. How about you aim? Fuck's sake, game! Why is there a, like a 10 degree dead zone? 5, 10 degree dead zone? I want to shoot at something that's slightly higher than the fucking ground! I mean, I could go further down, but all that's going to do if I try and fire it manually is try and fire at its feet. Yeah, it's still trying to fire straight down. This is not... Could have arced that better, couldn't you, game? You know, if you had gone up and over and registered the fact that it's higher than us. Well, that was my bad, because I threw it manually. Hmm. Fire doesn't seem to do much good against it. That's not too bad. Not a battery. Although I can't get behind you, can I? to throw something that isn't going to cost me mana. How about... We don't have any in the minute. Um, oh, we can't craft anymore either. That needs FP, that needs FP. They all need FP. I wonder if it's immune to blood loss. Okay. 
It's going to take a while to try and recover mana from all of these. Although these guys do appear to be very intent on me. They're just very slow. Yeah, I always wanted. I want the back attack. Thank you. Now let's get away from it. Why waste perfectly good resources? If you have time. Okay, so the field itself does keep giving you blood loss for a while. attack them they spray blood and that gives you blood loss as a result That from close range isn't a great idea. I knew one of them had to explode. Kind of a given. More stone sword keys. Fortunately, blood loss doesn't hurt us that badly anymore. I don't get the feeling that if I try to do the or the same thing to these, every single one of them gonna come charging at me explode. I mean how many of them can I hit in one go? Oh balls we forgot again. Um, we still haven't put that new spell on. That new spell may have actually had really good range on it but I don't know. Right. One. Two, three, that 
got a good healthy amount of them. Still going to be some here that are going to explode. nicely. Okay, we got to the top and we didn't use a single pot to do so. Game says I can summon. Well, knowing what we're dealing with, you're the best option. Are we wandering into a boss room or just some sort of gauntlet? It's one of you. I remember one of you. And the music's coming from that way. That little stab of yours didn't really have any poise damage to it at all. Oh, dear. You might... I... Terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? I am. What the devil are you doing in a place like this? I'll have those. Ah, he's the one that sells an unlimited number of dwelling arrows. I found you. Give me them all. So I knew he existed because obviously I have a bow that um, gets more powerful by using these arrows specifically. But we didn't really have a way to buy these arrows. Don't really need those. Oh, I should have saved a little so I could have bought that. Not that we've ever had a use of them. Oh, I must apologise. I've... I'm afraid I've very little to offer. Don't worry, my friend. You have exactly the right things that I want. Okay. Where are you coming from? No way you just let me grab this. I get the feeling this is an area where the enemies know where I am, period.
smithing stone eight. We still need a lot of them, but we're getting close. Um, did that give me one or two fastback? It gave me one fastback. Okay. So we can use a fast each time we kill one. Um, what was I coming in here for? Oh, that's something I never actually tested. The fact we still have it must mean that it's not actually giving us a negative effect. It's not reducing our health like the other one does. So we can use this now anytime we enter a fight if we want to increase our poise. I was fighting that guy and I realized that really I should have something else and that was it. This isn't going to avail as much. So I think we go with... Do we have one that reduces blood loss? I think it would be robustness as defense against blood loss. But let's just negate physical damage. Crouching isn't going to help because these guys spawn in. How many of you are going to just explode on me? We probably should um, call the horde a little bit. Now we can start farming some mana. This is so ridiculous. If these were any other enemies, this would be suicide. Oh, of course. It's all very well doing that. If we don't actually have... Because these things aren't dangerous until they explode. Okay. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's not dead. That one's dead. One of those is dead. Now we can finish recovering. I'm glad you seem to be immune to blood loss, otherwise this would have killed you very quickly. Ah, nuts, I needed that one. <laughs> Any left? All dead? All dead. That wants to be that. That wants to be... that. Is that a... 10? It is. Interesting, there's just a solitary golden centipede over here. I am glad I checked this direction. Okay, so our only directions now are up and around the other way. So very, very dark. I want to help you, but I can't move over that. Uh, 
Okay, is that all of them then? I think there's going to be at least one more, maybe. There we go, one more. I'm going to touch it and then I'm going to double back. I'm just going to buy the um, the uh, Art of War duplicating thing. We'll probably never use it, but it's a rare enough item that I may want it for a second playthrough. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to play New Game Plus. I'm not going to be doing this on YouTube. Even with what I know now, it's still going to be like at least 80 episodes long to do a new game plus run, so I shall not. Oh, is there anything wrong? No, everything's fine. I just want this. Uh, and while I'm at it, um, we did get some duplicate weapons we don't want. so much about duplicate armor. Some of these look very similar but are not actually the same, we have to be a little careful. Button please, mass or mass cell duplicates. different to that one. You can almost n not tell, but they are. Which is by no means subtle, the difference between them. Uh, they're all unique. I think I must have just entirely forgotten to have done this at any point. Just to check which armors I do and do not have. I think just boots left. Yep. One of those are duplicates, they're duplicates. That's a duplicate, that's a different one, that's a different one, that's a different one, that's duplicates. Having to do this solely by the name of the things. Okay, they didn't get as many runes, but I must apologise. I'm afraid I've very little to offer. 
No, you're fine again. You're fine, my good man. Okay, uh, no need to run back out. Wait, midpoint? Yeah, there's the entrance. So this is the midpoint, is it? Interesting. Okay, we have a spell to play with. Let's actually remember to equip it. What do we want to replace? We've also got these two that we're missing. Um... I never actually got around to playing with that. Let's replace this for now. Okay. What kind of range do you have? I think this is an AoE around me. That's substantially ranged and it does last for a decent amount of time. Let's get it red. Obviously, this is the one that we want to have, but we need another 10 attributes. Technically, five more intelligence would do it. We could brute force our way into be able to cast in that spell, um, but we would have to sacrifice another talisman slot. Uh, first, staff into the ground to create a freezing tornado. Uh, I sorcery of the town of Zalmor. Uh, strike uh, strike the ground with the staff to create a freezing tornado. Charging enhances potency. Uh, cloaked in ice tempest, the Knights of Zambor have challenged the fire giants since ancient times. Interesting. Okay. And uh, we also haven't had a look at this spell. Oh, it comes back. How much mana is that? That's actually not bad as a or just a basic ass range spell. It depends on how much damage it'll do. Um, we don't have any faith, but our um, oh, I forget the name of the damn thing. Our incantation focus. That is not what it's called. That's just the easiest way to describe it. Does scale off int. I mean, this isn't without use, but I think I may drop it. This replaces the standard great sword. There's no really reason to have a great sword because this is just more powerful in every way because we have double scaling on it or double um, damage boosts on it. This has its use. It's very cheap. It does stagger pretty well, but it doesn't do as much damage as it used to, relatively speaking. This is still handy for people with shields. The bow is still handy, so I don't really want to get rid of it. It's good for real long range damage. I don't think we're going to find another instance. Um, maybe not until the final fight. Um, I don't think we're going to have another instance where this is going to be useful for a mechanic in world. This has its uses, but it's always been situational. I wonder if this is going to have as much as effect on those who live in dead. I didn't mean to remove that. Uh, I wonder if that has as much of an effect on those who live in death as the other Golden Order Fundamentalists do. A gift from the young McQuellen uh, to his father, Radagon. Produces a ring of light and fire as it forwards the rings. Incantation can be cast repeatedly. Uh, cleanse me. I think I'm just going to flat out replace this.
the area back in there is actually a reasonable place, or would be a reasonable place to um, test it on. What are we equipped with? Okay, that's fine, that'll do. That's how we get up, but we're going to have to kill that thing first. We don't currently have a means to summon. I would say that's pretty effective. I don't want is one of them to roly poly up on me. Yeah, for the amount of mana that costs, that is pretty effective. Let's top up. Wait, have you lost track of me? You're not looking where I am. Here you go. Okay, you have a sword. There's no way I get a free back attack on you. Is that going to stay there? Can I burn it away? Be interesting if I could burn it away, but I doubt I can. Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Uh, resources are basically maxed again. I'm assuming this is going to be the boss arena. This looks boss arena to me. Um, can you go back down? Thank you. Mikola.
You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. Okay, expect lots of blood. How are you attacking? What the devil is that? Have a nice big target that is easy to read. Okay. The aerial denial is strong, but I can beat him. Oh no, not what we want to do. We want to use that. Okay. I think blood loss is with lostness.
things out of range. That goes off, I die. Denial, it's annoying. Didn't go as well as last time. Let's stay over here so I can drop my um, runes over here. Because I'm probably dead. Damn it. That queued up too long. Or longer than I was expecting it to. Let's go in without any of the buffs so we can get a little bit of just general practice. Well, I say without any of the buffs, without any of the um, easily usable buffs. So how do I stop him from using that triple thing? Is it just... He will use it over time anyway, and there's not much you can do about it. Oh, that's why everything went wrong. Does he get any recovery from... Don't hide in it, you coward. Do I still have... Damn it, we did remove it. I was wondering whether or not I could use um, the, moves or, the, the remove or status effect. To get rid of that. There's got to be a way to do it. go back to the last side of Grace I visited. I doubt it'll work. 
I doubt very much it'll work. But it's worth testing. This might have to be the last attempt for today. I don't think I'm going to give up on this one like I did last time. Or like the other one, because we can see that we are making progress. We can see we are getting there. needed to have cast it before then. We don't even know if that even works. Damn it, timed it wrong. Too much fire on the ground. One more. I want to at least see if we can block that attack. We can certainly attack through it, but I think it always resets its health back to half. I don't think there's a way to stop it. The only solution I can think of is making sure it doesn't affect me. Slightly different tax. We have to eat and heal through that attack. That's annoying. That didn't affect um, her at all. That's what I kind of wanted. Oh, you. No. Damn it. I 
don't want to fight him against a wall. Damn it, I should have healed. Okay, really last time this time, because I'm going to stack everything back up again. I wonder if it's just a range thing, if we can get far enough away, if it won't do anything. Robustness, that's what I thought. can't outrange that, we just have to burn through three pots. I saw my character start the roll animation. At which point he should have been invulnerable. Well. I did say actual last time, so actual last time. We will come back again tomorrow. I'm not done with this guy. I still think I can beat him. But that last death I'm questioning. I want to see that back. I am almost certain I saw my character start to initiate a roll and then take damage from the um, melee attack, which shouldn't be possible. That's where the invulnerability frames are. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. We will be back again tomorrow with one more for this week. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.